This is Parthenocissus quincifolia. This is one of those species that after introduction, students immediately ask, does spelling count on our exams? And the answer to that is yes. Uh, this is a fairly easy vine to identify. It's got palmately compound leaves with five leaf splits. Superficially, you could say, hey, that looks like a, a, a buckeye leaf or an esculus leaf. But of course, this is attached to a vine. And so that immediately tells us this is certainly not an esculus species. Plus, esculus leaves are also opposite and have finer tooth margins than these. These do have some serrations on the margins, but they're more larger dentations than the finer serrations we find on Esculus. Depending on where we find Parthenocissus growing, there's a lot of variability in the size of the leaves. This is a more of a medium sized leaf. If you look right up above it, here is an enormous Parthenocissus leaf. And down here on the ground, we can find a smaller Parthenocissus leaf. Like many of our vine species in the coastal plain, Parthenocissus will climb and become an arboreal vine. Parthenocissus has large sprays of flowers and fruits that are important for pollinators and wildlife in the coastal plain as well. Parthenocissus is often confused with poison ivy and certainly right here you can see in the center of the image a Parthenocissus leaf surrounded by Toxicodendron leaflets. Of course the key here is Toxicodendron has three leaflets and Parthenocissus has five.